Okay. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to show the way that I put on a real seat. There was some discussions on one of the forums the other day, and people were wanting it explained, and I don't know how to type it out, so I'd just as soon show it. Um, this is using masking tape arbors, and I've never had one slip. This is a heavy, heavy tuna rod. Um, this is the way I put them on, and I think it's uh, the best way. So we start with, you get to put your real seat there. I put a little scribe right there just to show me where I'm starting. Chuck it up in the machine here. I use a half inch masking tape. Are you zoomed in here? Hon? Okay. You want to wind the masking tape on to where it's just starting to get snug. That's a little too much. Back off about a half a half of a wrap. Okay. Now I leave about a quarter of an inch gap in between. about a sixteenth of an inch from my line. That way we've got a gap for glue can pile up in there at the end. Okay, slides on snug. Now the next thing I do to save myself some cleanup I wrap some masking tape around the thread again. There. Now I mix up my my glue. And for this, I'm using classic vertical real seat paste. Now the key to it is, zoom in baby, the key to it is you want to fill all the gaps and get as much contact with the blank itself all the way to the real seat. And right here it looks like don't, don't got quite as big a gap as I want so you can cut it and remove some and give yourself a uniform gap there. There we go. Now, make sure you're and I like to use the paste because then you can build it up and get good contact between the blank and the real seat. And also what is important is to get the edges of the tape coated very good. And that way, even if the tape fails in 10 years, you're going to have plenty of epoxy contact between the seat and the blank. And it's, not going to, it's never going to twist. And to get this on like this, I start at the front here and just pack it up. All the 
away the rear grip. Are you zoomed in? Okay, here's the key to it. Twist it on. See how it piles up there on the edge? Get it halfway over the gap and turn it and press it in with your finger. And that way you get complete contact with the tape and the blank and the real seat. Turn it on, get over the gap, roll it and press it in with your finger. down to the last little gap and now you can take pull your tape off your threads are clean and I take a little bit of acetone on a rag Clean it off, and now I take it over and spine it. Make sure it's on spine, and it's not, so. It's on spine. Now you set it, let it dry. Finish the rest of your handle, and that real seat, I guarantee, will not spin. And that's pretty much how I do it.